is Talisha and today it is Friday and I'm going to take you along on my before show day preparation. So at the moment I'm just about to go ride. I'm wearing a pair of white shorts and a polo shirt and then I'm just going to wear my cowgirl boots because I'm just going to ride her bareback today. I'm not going to ride her in a saddle because I'm not going to do a very long ride, just a pretty light ride because I haven't been riding. She hasn't been ridden because it's been raining. I haven't been able to ride her um, like all week. So... And I didn't want to do too much before the show. I just want to see if she'll still be supple and be able to get on the bit for tomorrow. Because, yeah, um, and later. And then I'll go back and braid her. And then there's tomorrow when the show is. Which I'm, like, really nervous but excited for it as well. I'm only doing the hacking, which is on the Saturday, which is tomorrow. Um, and for those of you who don't know what hacking is, because I got a lot of questions. It's like a flat class. And you're asked to do something in a big circle so you do that and then they send you out and then they're like okay I want you you and you and then so like they pick like the best people best riders and horses and you have to go in and do something that they ask you to do um, by yourself you're not with the group this time and normally it's like in a figure of figure eight and yeah so I'm walking her back from her paddock and we are walking along the track because as you know she's still at work there's mum um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in the new track that they've put in at work, this is one of them. This is the big one. It goes right up the top there, and then there's a little one at the front. And also, that's over there, if you can see the covered area, that's the arena which you've probably seen me ride in before with Mango. Oh, Jep. <laughs> Jep's feeling pretty special, I think. Feeling like she's a racehorse. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just taking her over there. Okay so at the moment I'm riding Jep for the second time today. I rode her in the morning and she was a brat and she made me quite stressed so um, mum dropped me up here and I'm riding her again so mum dropped me back up to her and I'm gonna have um, finish this ride on her. It's gonna be about 15 minutes left of this ride. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really get to feel much. It's been a pretty stressful day and um, she's all right wouldn't say she's great at the moment but she's getting there hopefully in the next 15 minutes she'll begin to be more supple and accepting of the bit because she needs to be on the bit the whole time in the hacking and so far we're not going too great normally she's really good at this well when I say normally when I first got her which obviously wasn't that long ago she wasn't great but after because I was riding her so regularly she picked up really fast the last ride I had on her before it um, started raining was really good and she was really supple and she was going really good I I'm sorry if you can hear wind right now but now she's not the best but she's better at this ride so okay so we finished our ride I'm just about to go wash her I'm waiting for my boss to come and unlock the gate because he decided he would lock the gate so <laughs> he's driving down from the office because um, he decided he would lock the gate then I'll go wash her um, then she's going to get her feet done and she's actually getting her feet done by a friend of mine from work who does, who did supers and stuff. Who was the one that did supers feet and stuff. So he's going to do hers because they need a bit of a trim before the show. Um, yeah, she's a bit iffy because the stallion is right there. He, there. Oh, and yeah, so she's pretty good now. She's calmed down. Um, she was a bit funny before and so was the stallion. Yeah, so that's the stallion over there. Um, he's... <laughs> He's the one who um, impregnated all of the mares th this season um, and the father of all the little foals at work. So <laughs> he's out here um, just chilling. He he's funny. I, lo I love him. He's a great stallion. Um, he was showing off a bit before when Jep first came, but now he kind of lost interest. <laughs> um, yeah. Jeff, what are you doing? Jeff was showing off a bit before too. She was like, ooh, it's a stallion. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah. He, he's cute. He's um, a dapple grey, if you can't tell. But um, he's not very friendly here. I'll take you over to him. Come on, Jeff. His name is like, oh, cyclone or tornado? It's like, it's either like tornado or cyclone or something. He's, <laughs> looks a bit roughed up, hey? <laughs> he's an older stallion, actually. He's fairly old. Um, I think he's about, I think he's in his 20s. Hey, dude. Oh. Hey, he's not very friendly. Like, Jeff, don't be a little bitch. Look. 
Hey, you let me pat you? Oh, I touched him. <laughs> Good boy, he's a bit iffy. Oh, okay, so I forgot to check my text messages, but I just checked my text messages, right? And my boss actually sent me a text at like about half an hour ago. And he said he moved my work day to a Saturday, if that works for me. And at first I was like, oh yeah, awesome. I'd rather work there because a lot of my shows are on Sundays, which is why I think he did it. And then I was like, oh damn, I was going to do Jump Club. Um, my area have a new Jump Club opening up. And I was going to join it. It's on every fourth Saturday. But now I can't because I work Saturdays now. If you don't know, it's a racehorse stud. Um, it's a racehorse stud and... They breed and train racehorses. But anyway, um, I normally work every Sunday. But yeah, I'm on a holiday from work because um, at the moment we're having, because over the Christmas holidays, all the horses have been put out into paddocks, onto breaks and having a bit of a holiday and just a rest from the training. So I don't think, I think there's like one or two staff that just go around feeding, brushing the horses and just doing all that. And then other than that, it's pretty much closed. <laughs> um, so that's great. And yeah, so he texted me and he's like, oh yeah, is it okay if we change your work days to a Saturday? <laughs> which means I think the Saturday girl may have lost her job, which wouldn't surprise me honestly, because she was, never came. Anyway, <laughs> so she probably lost her job. So I'm still waiting for my boss to come. He was like, yeah, I'll come. I'll be down in like 10 minutes. And I'm still friggin' waiting here. Jeppy Jep, you can't even see her ears. Snoz. <laughs> and he only does mine. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Jep's feet have been trimmed. They're looking quite snazzy. Oh my gosh. Okay. So he called me and he was like, "Yeah, my wife took my keys for the gate." So, um, and she just left. So I'm walking down, and I have to walk down along the road to get to his driveway now because he has a house. Um, on the property so I have to walk down the road which is a pretty quiet road so it's okay Jeff's being a little butt just walk <sighs> and yeah so we have to walk down along the road um, and up his gates so we'll do that and that is good we'll get you washed and ready so yeah oh my bucket is hurting my hand so yeah walk it down along the road because he's he has another house on the property so that's the one I'm going to now and then he also has a house which is off like about 20 minutes away or something which is like a really big farm but yeah so we're gonna go to his house and use his hose so we're just walk, leaving here now that's the paddock I'm gonna be leaving her in there's the road but it's quite, oh. and there's another house up there. I don't even know who lives up in that house, but yeah, that's where she is. So private property on this gate thing. I'm not going to show you where, I'm, where I work, thanks. So a bit of a tour, hey. Here is the road and down the bottom where the black fence is, is the rest of work, is the west of the st stud and ah, this bucket. So there's one of the houses. There's also a few other houses inside where the guy who did his Jep's feet lives too and some other people. A lot of people actually live on the property. Um, you're walking faster now. So here, this is where we're going. We are in his place now. I was walking up his driveway. <laughs> Got my wash bucket with all my stuff in it. And yeah. Jeff's like, I'm sick of this. Can, we, can I just eat my hay now? Tennis court. Little gazebo. There's his gooseneck. It's where you can keep your horses and stay overnight. And this is where I'm washing Jeff. I ride here sometimes as well. So Jeff is tucked in for the night. She's got her slinky on. Looking fancy. And she's eating her hay. We did her plaits and the tail's done. And it looks quite sho shocking. <laughs> Actually, I don't, don't know if I want to show you that. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. 
How do you reckon? Okay, so she's in the float now. We're on the way to the show. Um, we had a bit of a problem floating her at first. She seemed good, but then she decided to turn around and take off. So I was trying to hold on to her, but I couldn't. So she just took off and bolted. So we had to go and catch her and she was running away from us. But we had, we eventually got her. And now she's in the float and she's eating her hay and she's happy. So, yeah. So this is my first yeah. class. It's the novice class. And I couldn't get Jeff on the bit at all. Um, <laughs> during this whole day and to towards the end she managed to go on the bit a bit a little bit but mostly because I think um, we had the week off and it just really affected her but and it would have been mostly my fault as well but you know it doesn't matter it was our first show and I didn't really worry about it too much either because it was my first time and I was you know I it wasn't too big of a deal to me so that's for next time and yeah my strips are too short in this class I do know that and it looks really bad now that I'm looking at it but I didn't notice it while I was writing but I fixed it for the next one or the one after I don't know I did fix it at one stage Tiny Hacknot exceeded four days. 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 Tiny Hacknot exceeded just watching that clip of my first class just made me cringe so much. I don't know how I made it to the next stage of it, which is, they call it like the workout. So she picked five of us and um, we have. she tells us a workout and we have to do it by ourselves. So this was me doing mine now and it's, you have to do it in a figure eight. Oh my god, my phone, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, rising trot and then I get to the middle and I'm pretty sure it's a... And then as I get to the middle of the figure eight, it's a right lead canter. You'll see me do now, hopefully. Oh, I kind of screwed that up. Okay. Yeah, well, there's my little moment of my stuff up. But yeah, so <laughs> then we get to the corner, we do the right lead canter and we go around. And then as we get back to the center of the figure eight, we do a, we, I check her do a few strides and then swap to the left lead canter. So then I go around, back around in the circle. I look horrendous, but let's just appreciate my pretty pony. And then I stop here, trot, and get her back in front of the judge and stop her square. And that was it. And I managed to get a fourth for this class. Don't know how. Don't ask me. I looked horrendous. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's good. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Oh. In ring three is the novice class 67. Okay. So what's the next thing she goes in? Um, I can't remember. I'll have a go. Mum's got your coffee. Oh, thanks. Big smile. Smile, pal. Very good for your first time. Well pal. done, Jen. Very good. So this one is the lightweight hack not exceeding 15 hands high. Um, I didn't make it to the final slash workout for this one. But it was just fun to get the experience anyway. And looking at it now, I still look dreadful. <laughs> Can't get to Jeff on the bit. And then all the other horses look amazing. And all the other riders look amazing. But, oh well. <laughs> it's all about experience, right? <laughs> She needs to go in her horse riding class. Her riding class. Yeah. She looks alright. Yeah. That was my auntie telling my mum that I should go in my rider class, which is the one where I get judged more than the horse. Because <laughs> I really didn't want to do the rider class because I really didn't think I looked good enough to do it. Like my EQ and stuff. Um, that's now the 12th to the 13th. 
Yeah. Well, she's doing it now. Well done, Tao. Good girl. Nice brow band. Having a break. Ooh. Seen a horse she likes up there. <laughs> she's like, hmm. Who's that fine horse? And then the next one I've got is my, which I'm waiting for, is my age group, which is um, 16 to 18 year old. And I'm quite scared for that one. It's supposed to be a really hard clock. It's supposed to be against really good people. So I'm quite nervous for that one. That's okay. Um, then after that, I've got my bareback hack. I've got my bareback one, my bareback class. And then that's it. And then we're done. Jep's being very, very patient in case I get questions. Yeah, I do only have a half hat on. That is what you do in hacking. Um, like everyone in hacking, you'll see, will just have a half pad. And I've got my riser underneath because otherwise my saddle doesn't fit properly. So yeah, um, that's all you use when you do hacking. It's quite simple tack. And then you have the fancy brow band and, oh, and this brow band is from my gorgeous, <laughs> it's from my wonderful sponsor her instagram her business account is on this her business account is on the screen now and now is her other instagram with her horse her horsey instagram and it is so nice it's really good like considering that they charge only 90 dollars to get one of these from like tax stores and horse and or just made for you and these are like check out her instagram if you're interested in getting one because they're such <laughs> a reasonable price compared to other ones and they're really good quality She's not gonna stand still, so I'm gonna go. Oh, and I said in a video last week that you had you couldn't wear chaps um, for the shows in Australia, but it turns out you can wear chaps for everything but hacking, unless you're over 18. Otherwise, you wear jotty clips and um, paddock boots. Um, so here's my rider class which is where i'm getting judged not yeah. the horse so if you want to know which one i am i'm the one with the horse um slash giraffe <laughs> yes i know it's my fault she's not on the bit it's not jeb's fault it's my fault but you know what it doesn't matter um for this one i make it to the workout and i end up getting another fourth <laughs> just to spoil before it even happens She went right near the judge. <laughs> That's good. She's saying too sharp, isn't she? So this one, the workout's slightly different. I do sitting trot right across the diagonal and until I get to the bottom left corner and that's when I start doing rising trot. So of course, we're not on the bit again due to my fault. Um, so yeah, so we do sitting trot, which it, oh, it looks so bad. <laughs> uh, yep, so we get here and do rising trot until the corner the other corner and then we do the left lead canter I think yep yeah <laughs> I'm remembering it now so then I stop check it and do the right lead canter yeah I got it oh, and I'm an idiot good. and yep <laughs> another stuff up at that corner again so let's just ignore my little stuff up and we go back around and then we stop yeah, here she did that better. and go into a trot and stop in front of the judge here so it was actually quite short compared to the other one and I got a four yay <laughs> Yay, Tao! Show us your arm. Ooh, cool. Okay, so here's the last class of the day, and it was the bareback class, and she was actually 
going on a bit a bit more here <laughs> so this was a pretty fun class I didn't place so for this they only gave up three places and they didn't do a workout or anything and a lot of people went in it but it was so fun it was a class I enjoyed doing most so it was just a really good way to end the day and there were some really good bareback riders in this class I was like oh just watch watch the girl on the gray in front of me she was so good I think she won actually yeah she was the one that won she was really good <laughs> That looks better than them, they're all leaning back, those fast ones. Yes, gorgeous. Uh oh. What was that? Panther. That has got a good seat for Panther in there. She needs to go white or red, isn't she? Judge saw us, isn't it? Yeah. Shows over the bareback ride it was quite fun. It was a lot of fun. It was a good way to end it before we go. And her little full lock, and then look at her tail. It's a wavy and cute. She's just eating. Everyone's gone. The bareback one was the last one. Jep's in the float. She decided she'd be hard to catch again. I mean, hard to get in the float again. So, something we'll have to work on, hey? Would have thought you'd be good at floating, but obviously not. She's grumpy. Got her mane. Oh, messy. And then her boots. We didn't put the rug on because it's so hot. It's too hot for rugs. <laughs> yeah. She's got a hay. Yeah. See you when we get home. Yeah, you do. Back on the track, hey, Jeff. <laughs> Walking her back to her paddock. It's so hot. I think we're all dead. What do you think, Mum? I'm melting. <laughs> oh, don't push me into the garden. Oh, we're not. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, oops. We're not going to do the sporting tomorrow. Today was too long and hot and tiring, so none of us feel like it. So we're just gonna have a lazy day tomorrow. Mm, yeah. Okay, guys. I just realised how feral I looked. <laughs> I am going to show you what my family got me because they were well, because they are the best family in the world and they said and they were quite happy with how I went and everything they got me this I always licked it I actually just licked it I mean look at this look at this brow band let's just take a moment and in the sun it's sh like you probably won't be able to tell in here but in the sun it's so nice and bright so it's got the pearls and then all the little diamantes and stuff look at the rosette oofed so now I have two <laughs> but I'm gonna use the both of them so yeah oh look how nice this is so yes I do have two now that doesn't matter. I'll still use both of them. I'll just like change each show. So yeah, I'm gonna use this one at the next show though because I always get excited when I get new things. I want to use them like straight away. So mm. look how nice. Look at it. Oh, look at that. 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 <laughs> so excited. Just so. And oh, by the way, I got it in my colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.